Dravida Munaitra Kazhagam DMK English Dravidian Progress Federation is an Indian state political party in the state of Tamil Nadu and Union Territory of Puducherry It is a Dravidian party founded by CN Anadurai in 1949 as a breakaway faction from the Dravidar Kazhagam known as Justice Party until 1944 headed by Peri R E V Ramasamy DMK was headed by M Karanadi from 1969 until his death on the 7th of August 2018 he served as Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu five times. DMK was the first party other than the Indian National Congress to win state-level elections with a clear majority on its own in any state in India. The head office of the party is called Anna Arivalayam, which is located at Anna Salai, Tainampet, Chennai, Tamil Nadu. <laughs> List of Chief Ministers Chief Minister from DMK Tamil Nadu CN Anadurai the 6th of March 1967 to the 3rd of February 1969 VR Nedunchesian acting CM only the 3rd of February 1969 to the 10th of February 1969 M Karanadi the 10th of February 1969 to the 4th of January 1971 the 15th of March 1971 to the 31st of January 1976 the 27th of January 1989 to the 30th of January 1991 the 13th of May 1996 to the 13th of May 2001 the 13th of May 2006 to the 15th of May 2011 chief minister from DMK Puducherry MOH Farooq the 17th of March 1969 to the 3rd of January 1974 MDR Ramachandran the 16th of January 1980 to the 24th of June 1983 the 8th of March 1990 to the 3rd of March 1991 RV Jana Kiraman the 26th of May 1996 to the 21st of March 2000 topic List of Deputy Chief Ministers Deputy Chief Minister from DMK MK Stalin the 29th of May 2009 to the 15th of May 2011 Topic List of Leaders of Opposition Leaders of Opposition from DMK V. R. Nedunchesian, 1962 to 1969; M. Karanadi, 1977 to 1980, 1980 to 1987; K. Anbajigan, 2001 to 2005; M. K. Stalin, 2016, Pondicherry; A. M. H. Nazim, 2006 to 11. Topic: Justice Party. DMK traces its roots to the South Indian Liberal Federation Justice Party formed in 1916, by P. Thyagaraya Chetty, Dr. P. T. Rajan, Dr. C. Natesa Mudalir and a few others. The Justice Party, whose objectives included social equality and justice, came to power in the first general elections to the Madras Presidency in 1920. E. V. Ramasamy. A popular Tamil reformist leader of the time, had joined Indian National Congress in 1919, to oppose what he considered the Brahmanich leadership of the party. Periyar's experience at the Vaikom Satyagraha made him to start the self-respect movement in 1926 which was rationalistic and anti-Brahmanistic. He quit Congress and in 1935, he joined the Justice Party. In the 1937 elections, the Justice Party lost and the Indian National Congress under C. Rajagopalachari Rajaji, came to power in Madras Presidency. Rajaji's introduction of Hindi as a compulsory subject in schools led to the anti-Hindi agitations, led by Periyar and his associates. Dravidar <inaudible> <inaudible> Kazhagam <inaudible> In August 1944, Periyar created the Dravidar Kazhagham out of the Justice Party and the Self-Respect Movement at the Salem Provincial Conference. Dravidar Kazhagam, conceived as a movement and not a political party, insisted on an independent nation for Dravidians called Dravida Nadu consisting of areas that were covered under Madras Presidency. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Dravida Munaitra Kazhagam. Over the years, many disagreements arose between Periyar and his followers. In 1949, several of his followers led by C. N. Anadurai, decided to split from Dravidar Kazhagham, after an aged Periyar married a young woman Manyamai and appointed his young wife to act as his successor to lead the party, superseding senior party leaders. Until then E. V. K. Sampath, the nephew of Periyar, was considered his political heir, Anadurai, on 17 September 1949 along with Kadanthai K. K. Nilamegam, V. R. Nedunchesian, K. A. Mathiashagan, N. V. Natarajan called, Aimbaram Thalevargal, great five leaders along with M. Karanadi then an emerging screenwriter and thousands of others in Robinson Park in Royapuram in Chennai announced the formation of the DMK. The name of the party DMK was announced by Kudanthai Paranthagai. K. K. Nilamegam <laughs> MGR's entry In 1953, actor M. G. Ramachandran MGR joined the DMK, popularized the party flag and symbol which at that time stood for secession from India by showing it in his movies. MGR was a member of the DMK, and he was seen as an icon of the DMK and spread its message through films like Adamipan and Deva Thai produced and scripted by R. M. Virapan, another strong DMK ideology propagator from C. N. Anadurai school. <laughs> First election DMK entered the electoral fray for 1957 state assembly elections with M. Karanadi winning the Kulathalai constituency while other seniors members like V. R. Nedunchesian losing from Salem. In 1962 another prominent actor S. S. Rajendran SSR contested in Theni, legislative assembly election, against the then popular Congress leader N. R. Thiagarajan and won the seat. Topic: 1960s. Topic: <laughs> Formation of state government. In 1967, DMK came to power in Madras Province 18 years after its formation and 10 years after it had first entered electoral politics. This began the Dravidian era in Madras Province, which later became Tamil Nadu. In 1969, Party General Secretary and founder, C. N. Anadurai died. After his death, there came the power tussle between M. Karanadi and V. R. Nedunchesian. Most of the elected MLAs of DMK, including leaders like Mathialagan, Nanjil Manaharan and the celluloid hero M. G. R. favoured Karanadi as CM in preference to Nedunchesian, the senior leader after Anna. To pacify V. R. Nedunchesian a new post called Party President was created for M. Karanadi and V. R. Nedunchesian was the post of General Secretary. M. G. R. was appointed as the Treasurer of the party. During the Indian President election, there was divided opinion between the leaders of Indian National Congress. Though the party nominated Dr. Sanjeeva Reddy as the official candidate, the then Prime Minister, Mrs. Indira Gandhi had suddenly switched her allegiance to Dr. V. V. Jiri, the opposition-sponsored candidate. She had also advised all party elected members to vote according to their conscience. Dr. V. V. Jiri was elected as the President of India with the support of Mrs. Indira Gandhi. This has resulted in the split of Congress party and in October 1969. Senior leaders like Murarji Desai, Athulya Ghosh, Kamarahar, S. K. Patil and Nijalingappa on the one side as Congress organization and Indira Gandhi, Shankar Dayal Sharma, Jagjivan Ram, C. Sebramaniam on the other side as Congress Indira. The DMK, led by Mr. Karanadi took a stance to support Mrs. Indira Gandhi in certain reforms like abolition of privy purse, nationalization of banks. In 1971 election, the DMK fought in alliance with Congress Indira and the opposition alliance which consisted of the two senior national leaders, Rajaji and Kamarahar was termed as a strong alliance and was widely supported by media to recapture power in Tamil Nadu. However, the DMK emerged victorious with a vast majority of 184 seats out of 234 and Dr. Kalagner M. Karanadi becoming the chief minister for second time. The opposition Grand Alliance could capture only 25 seats.
Topic: <laughs> Karanadi's presidency. Topic: <laughs> MGR's exit. M. G. Ramachandran MGR, who was a popular actor and the then party treasurer had played a vital part in popularizing the party's ideologies. The political feud between M. G. R. and the party president Karanadi emerged as an aftermath of the latter calling himself, Mujib of Tamil Nadu. In 1972, M. G. R. called for a boycott of the party's general council. With the crisis falling into call for corruption probe by MGR, he was eventually suspended from the General Council. Thus emerged a new party All India Anna Dravida Munnetra Kazhagam AIADMK. The new party ADMK had drubbed the parent party DMK in the by-election to the Lok Sabha seat at Dindigul in 1974. Topic: <laughs> Post MGR In 1977, DMK lost the assembly elections to MGR's AIA DMK, and stayed out of power in the state till 1989. After MGR's death in December 1987, AIA DMK split into two factions between Janaki MGR's wife and Jayalalitha. DMK returned to power in 1989 state assembly elections and Karanadi took over as chief minister in January 1989. 1991 election was held on the backdrop of DMK government dissolved within two years of formation due to pressure from Rajiv Gandhi, in the same year Rajiv was killed by human bomb during election campaign. Due to DMK's pro-Tamil stance and the dismissal of the state government midway by Rajiv, people presumption was against DMK and the sympathy wave in favour of AIA DMK Congress alliance and the DMK was deprived of any seats in the parliament. In the 1996 state elections, DMK came to power on strength of corruption charges against J. J. Alalitha and the alliance with Tamil Manila Congress TMC, headed by G. K. Mupanar and supported by Sini actor Rajinikanth. However, in 2001, the AIA DMK, on strength of a strong alliance and the incumbency factor against DMK, came back to power in the state assembly elections. In the 2004 parliamentary elections, DMK formed an alliance with Congress, the Marumalarchi Dravida Munnetra Kazhagam MDMK and the Patali Makal Kachi PMK and swept a grand victory, the alliance winning all 40 seats including Puducherry. This enabled seven ministerial posts in the central government and influential power to DMK. Two years later in 2006, the same alliance won in the state assembly elections and the DMK for the first time formed a minority government in the state with help from Congress. M. Karanadi became the chief minister of the state for the fifth time. The DMK Congress alliance was also successful in the 2009 parliamentary elections. In the 2011 assembly elections, held in the wake of the 2G case and allegations of nepotism, the DMK won only 23 seats, 127 seats less than earlier. In the 2014 Lok Sabha election DMK failed to win any seats, however, by vote percentage it was second only to AIA DMK. <laughs> Party ideology DMK, from its inception, wanted to have a separate independent state for the Dravidians. C. N. Anadurai wanted a separate Dravida Nadu but the DMK changed its stance with the Chinese invasion in 1962 and suspended its demand for the length of the war and supported India for raising funds for the war. When the war ended, nationalistic feelings were so strong that DMK gave up the separate Dravida nation idea. The anti Hindi agitations of 1965 forced the central government to abandon its efforts to impose Hindi as the only official language of the country. Still, Hindi imposition continued as Indian government employees are asked to write as much as 65% of the letters and memoranda in Hindi. In April 1974, the DMK government brought in a resolution in the House urging the centre to accept the Rajamanar Committee recommendations on state autonomy and amend the Constitution of India to pave the way for a true federal system. Manifesto <inaudible> 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 The DMK and its prime opposition party, the ADMK have posted an array of populist schemes targeting the Human Development Index of the state. 
Most of the schemes are accused to be targeting garner larger electoral support. Both the parties have schemes listed in the election manifestos covering various segments of the population involving fishermen, farmers and school children. Till the 2000s, the parties had welfare schemes like maternity assistance, subsidized public transport and educational grants. After the 2000s, the parties started competing at an increasing level over the distribution of consumer goods. The ADMK government distributed free cycles to class 11 and class 12 students during its tenure of 2001-06. The DMK, in competition, promised free color televisions in its manifesto in 2006 elections. The competition continued during the 2011 elections when both parties announced free laptops for schools students and grinder, mixer and fans for public. Topic: <laughs> Party symbol. The party's election symbol is the sun arising from between two mountains called the rising sun. It has a black and red flag. Election history Tamil Nadu Puducherry Sources Percent votes polled Topic Media. The DMK party runs two newspapers, one each in English and Tamil, namely The Rising Sun Weekly Journal and Marasoli Daily, respectively. Kalignar TV is a channel started on the 15th of September 2007 and managed by Kanamazi and Dayalu Amal, the daughter and wife of Karanadi. The sister channels of Kalignar TV are Izaruvi Music Channel, Sithigal News Channel, Sirapali Comedy Channel, Kalignar Asia and Chitharam Tamil Cartoon Channel. Topic: <laughs> Controversies. Indira Gandhi dismissed the Karanadi government in 1976 based on charges of possible secession and corruption. The DMK government has been indicted by the Sarkaria Commission for Corruption in allotting tenders for the Viranam drainage project. In 2001, the former Chief Secretary, K.A. Nambir, and a host of others were arrested on charges of corruption in the construction of flyovers in Chennai. Karanadi and DMK party members were also charged under sections 120 B criminal conspiracy, 167 public servant framing an incorrect document with intent to cause injury, 420 cheating and 409 criminal breach of trust of the IPC, and section 13 2 read with 13 1 D of the Prevention of Corruption Act, but no prima facie evidence was found against him and his son M.K. Stalin. Topic. Connections with LTTE The interim report of Justice Jane Commission, which oversaw the investigation into Rajiv Gandhi's assassination, indicted Karanadi for abetting the Liberation Tigers of Tamil Elam The interim report recommended that Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M. Karanadi and the DMK party be held responsible for abetting Rajiv Gandhi's murderers. The final report contained no such allegations. Topic. Allegations of nepotism DMK has been accused by opponents, by some members of the party, and by other political observers of trying to promote nepotism and start a political dynasty along the lines of the Nehru Gandhi family. Vaiko, who quit the DMK, has been the most vocal. Political observers say that Vaiko was sidelined as he was seen as a threat to MK. Stalin and other family members. Karanadi's nephew, Marasoli Moran, was a union minister, however, it has been pointed out that he was in politics long before Karanadi became the chief minister in 1969. Many political opponents and DMK party senior leaders have been critical of the rise of MK Stalin in the party. But some of the party men have pointed out that Stalin has come up on his own. 
Stalin was an MLA in 1989 and 1996 when his father Karanadi was the chief minister, and became Chennai's 44th mayor in 1996. In 2009, he was made the deputy chief minister. Karanadi has been accused of helping Marasoli Maran's son Kalanidhi Maran, who runs Sun Network, India's second largest television network. According to Forbes, Kalanidhi is among India's richest 20, with $2.9 billion. Another son of Maran's, Dayanidhi Maran, served as Union Minister for Communications and IT Portfolio. Dayanidhi was withdrawn from the because Dynakaran, a newspaper run by the Maran brothers, had shown the result of a public poll which read Dayanidhi Maran as the successor to Karanadi. This created a bloody violence in the Madurai branch of Dynakaran office, causing the death of three employees. It has been pointed out that Karanadi has hesitated to take action against his erring family members. Karanadi is also accused of allowing Azagiri to function as an extra constitutional authority in Madurai. The Dynakaran newspaper case was handed over to the CBI. But the district and sessions court acquitted all the 17 accused in that case. So far, the case has not been appealed in a higher court to identify and punish the perpetrators of the crime. His daughter Kanamazi is a member of Raja Sabha. Topic. Involvement in 2G case DMK has been facing allegations regarding 2G Spectrum case. The case was brought into limelight in 2010 when case filed against Minister for Communications and Information Technology A. Raja had been reported. 2G licenses were issued to private telecom players at throwaway prices in 2008. The CAG estimated on the basis of 3G auction that the 2G Spectrum case had cost the government 1.76 lakh rupees crore equivalent to 2.8 trillion rupees or 39 billion dollars in 2017 short scale. Rules and procedures were flouted while issuing licenses. The CBI in the Supreme Court has since indicated that the factual loss is around 30,000 crore rupees equivalent to 480 billion rupees or 6.7 billion dollars in 2017. One of the party's TV channel stations, Kalignar TV was raided by Central Bureau of Investigation CBI officers in connection with the 2G Spectrum case on 19 February 2011. Karanadi's daughter M. K. Kanamazi arrested and sent to Tihar jail on 20 May 2011 for alleged kickbacks in 2G case. She has been arrested for the illegal transfer of money to the DMK's official channel Kalignar TV. DMK MPA Raja is the prime accused in 2G case and sent to Tihar jail. Kanamazi was subsequently released on bail on 29 November 2011 on 21 December 2017 in the court of O.P. Saini, S.P.L. Judge, C.B.I. 04, 2G Spectrum Cases, New Delhi acquitted all the members, including former Telecom Minister A. Raja and DMK Raja Sabha member Kanamazi in the 2G Spectrum Allocation Case. See also M. A. Kader K. Kalyanasundaram List of political parties in India Politics of India Notes